In this short video, I'm going to show you how you can use Microsoft Forms to create quizzes for learners that has embedded video and different sections in there. And it will also utilize the file upload feature within Microsoft Forms. And this is the example we're going to make. And this is on a website. And you can click at the top to see what it looks like on a mobile phone. So without further ado, let's go and have a look. So these are, this is the questions that I have just now and you can see I've got a little picture at the top, the name of the title and then my description of the task at the, in the introduction. And then the first section I've got a video embedded and then underneath that I have a number of questions. So what's the purpose of wireframing in this case? And a couple of questions asking people to identify the different media elements that, were, uh, that, that are used in the images here. And then the second section, I've put the video back in again so they can go back and watch it. And I've put a little task asking them to design their own website wireframe on a piece of paper. And then they're going to upload their file by taking a picture of it as an answer to the question. And then at the bottom, I've got a multiple uh, choice option that says which of these elements have you included in your wireframe. So a bit of a kind of checklist for them. So how we did that, I'll quickly show you. To create the quiz that I just showed you there, I'm going to go to New Quiz. And I'm going to give it a name. So we'll call this Wireframing Our Website. And then in my description, this is where I want to put my instructions. So in my quiz, I've got my title and I've got my instructions. So I want people to watch the video, answer all the questions and tell them they're going to need a pen and paper. So that's me set that up. I could add an image if I so want and search for a wire frame or whatever might be suitable. I'm going to use this one. And now I'm going to add a section. So section one. Section one is going to be called What is a wire frame? And in here, and here, so in here, what I'm going to do is in my first section, I've got my What's a wire frame? and then the instruction you're going to watch the video and answer a few questions to check your understanding. So at this point, I'm going to insert media here, and I'm going to go to video. So I can insert in the URL of a video here. So I know this one on YouTube that I want to use, which is here. I'm simply going to copy the address and paste that in. Add. So you'll see section one starts off with a title that says, what's a wireframe? Here's some tips on sketching it. And then a little bit of instructions here. And at this point, I'm going to add in my first question, which I want them to basically give me an a short description of what a wireframe is based on that video. So I'll use that as a text box. What is the purpose of a wireframe? And at this point, I want to make it a long answer to give them enough space to type in. I want them to also answer it by checking required. And I'm going to give them, make that worth two points. I can add next question. I'll make this a choice question this time. Uh, so what does this uh, represent in a wire frame? And at this point, I might want to add an image so I can click on the insert media. And at this point, I will add an image. So I can press image. I can search for an image or I can upload one. Now I have one in my folder. So there's my image to represent my question. And the options that I have are based on what was in the video. And for this, I will give it one point. And I could continue to add other multiple choice questions in the same way. So once I'm happy that I've got my pupils to watch the video, 
they've done the description of what they think the wireframe is and then they have some questions about the content of the video I can then move on to another task where I'm going to ask them to design their own wireframe so when I press add new at this point I'm going to choose section and just then give it the section drawing a wireframe so in section 2 I've got drawing a wireframe as my heading my instructions and I think what I might do is I might put my, fit my video in again I can also say you can watch the video again if it helps and then I can also add my video back in there so video paste in my video link again so I'm putting my video in again because it's going to be on a different page then my new question add new is going to be file upload so from here I'm going to choose file upload so upload a photo of your wireframe here I'm going to say just one picture file size limit 10 megabytes going to give that make that worth one to do five points it is required then add new and just as a wee checklist for pupils I'm going to add another choice option here and say please select all the elements you have included in your wireframe so in this last question, I want this to be a checklist where there's not a right answer, but I want them to think about their wireframe and check all the elements they believe they have included in their diagram. So I'm going to just make that worth one point. It's a bit of self-evaluation. I'm going to allow multiple answers, and it is required. So as I go back and have a look at my quiz now, I've got my video. I've got my free text box for the students to tell me what they think a wireframe is, it is required. I've got a multiple choice question which you can add more of, I've got my correct answer. I've got a new section to help split, split up the task into two different areas where I've got a description of what I want them to do and what I want them to include. I've also re-included my video because this will be on a different page. I've got upload a video, upload a picture, and I've got a little checklist for how well the pupils think they've achieved that. And the nice thing you can do is when you click on preview, you can see what this looks like. So this is what it looks like here. I can enter my text. I can select my answer. And you can see it moves on to the next page. And then I've got my drawing a wireframe. Watch the video again. I can then upload the file. So if I've got a picture on my computer, I could upload that or if I'm using a mobile phone, I can simply use the camera to take a picture of the wireframe. I can then check all the elements that I believe I have included and press submit. When you look on a mobile device, it formats really nicely. And the file upload actually activates the camera. So if I was using this uh, live on the phone and I press this it would look as if it was activating the camera so you could point it down to the drawing of the wireframe and it would upload. Once learners have submitted their work you click on responses and you can see your summary of your responses here. When you click on review answers you can see the answers that have come up this way. I can award the marks as appropriate. But when I come down to where the image was uploaded, there's upload a photo of your computer. When I click on this, so if you click on it, and there's the picture I can see that my student has uploaded. So I can go back, I can then go and give them the appropriate number of points that I think is correct. And of course you can use the feedback boxes to add, enter some feedback for the pupils.